Is there an ultimate purpose of life? Yeah, sure. What is it? What we're doing here. Which is what? Hopefully trying to make peace. Is that enough? We'll see. Yeah. Because if... It's better than the alternative. What's the alternative? Hell. Mm. Okay. Which we're toying with. I don't mean us. Yeah, well, yeah. us too. That's yeah, yeah. for no, sure. No, no, I, I, but, I, you know, things are, things are shaky at the moment on many fronts. And we have this opportunity in front of us, all of us, to have a very abundant world, right? Where everyone has enough mm. and maybe more than enough. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're shaky about that. We're not sure that that's acceptable and we're not sure everybody should have it. We're not sure everybody deserves it and even ourselves. Mm. And, and we're retreating into our corners in some real sense and we're not addressing the elephants under the carpet. And mm. you can't do that. Like the things we're discussing contentiously now mm -hmm. You know, they make for rough conversations, but they make for a lot rougher streets if you don't talk them out. And you have to do that in a spirit of ignorance. You know, like I was hoping to come here today and, well, and listen, I talk a lot. There's my flaw, <laughs> you know. But I don't know how to feel the right way forward. I think part of it is, well, first of all, to find commonalities, we believe in, in the fundamental necessity of a uniting book across the Jewish, Christian, and Muslim faiths. That's not nothing. Okay. Like, that's a strange thing to insist upon, and yet we all seem to agree. We believe in a, a higher and purposeful unity, the necessity of that, and then also in the necessity of putting that above all else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we also agree that we're not very good at that. Okay. But that's the hardest one to get, is that even if you do claim in some sense to worship the highest, Mm -hmm. in this monotheistic sense, that doesn't mean you're very good at it. And that's a hard pill to swallow, especially when you're trying to also be a courageous knight of your faith, let's say. It's hard to be properly humble in the mm -hmm. face of the divine, but that might be in some sense the proper command. I mean, yeah. the fact that Islam means submission is yeah. a reflection of that in some sense, right? Just remember who's God here and who isn't. And so, and that's a very hard thing to keep in mind. So when I listen to you, yeah. you disagreeable character, I'm trying to separate <laughs> out the wheat from the chaff, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because yeah. there's no doubt I have many things to learn yeah. as I learn to some degree. No, I, and we, honestly, message. I appreciate this part of like, you know, I, I learn from, from your humility, honestly, the way that you come across. And once again, I do appreciate both of you coming here, you know, and I appreciate your disagreeability as well. Like what you've said there is good. I, I deserve the accountability just like he does. I don't want to be a person who, you know, who doesn't, can't dish it out, who dishes it out but can't get, get it himself. I deserve it. What I wanted to say is this to both of you. I want to do a thought experiment, yeah? And so if, imagine you're going to sleep. I don't know where you guys are staying now, what hotel you're going to stay in. You're watching my videos, you know, me with the masks and stuff like that before you go to sleep, subscribe on the channel, whatever you do, yeah? And now you're, <laughs> after you've, you know, put the dislike and done your negative comments, which I deleted already, I put it in the trash. <laughs> uh, which is what you do as well with tweets, and, you know, we can talk about that later. But after that's all happened and you've gone to sleep, you both go to sleep now, right? You wake up and you find yourselves on a ship. On a ship, Yeah. And people are eating food, people are drinking, people are this and that, and so on. This thing's happening. Now, what would be the first questions that you would ask the people around you? Would you ask things like, how did I get here? Where are we going? Is that, are these... Yeah. Those seem like the first two yeah. good... Those, those are good questions, good questions to ask in general. Where are we? we go. How did we get here? And this and is where what, are we going? Beautiful. That's what I wanted to actually get to, because this is what Heidegger, you know, Martin Heidegger, he's a controversial figure in his old, right? Okay, but... He described us as the thrownness of life. Yeah. Because we're chucked into life. We're thrown into life, right? So the fact now that we're in this world, these questions that we would be asking if we were on a ship and we're just chucked on a ship are the same very questions, like you said, you know, that we would be asking if we're on this world, in this world. Where did we come from? Where are we going? I think if we can't get these two questions right, nihilism will persist. You're a nihilistic expert. You've, you've spoken a lot about nihilism. I think if we can't get He's those... He's a counter-nihilistic expert. Yeah, yeah, I'm, not a, yeah. I'm not a nihilist. My, if you want, ask my, what would I think you, my purpose, the purpose yeah, is, yeah, yeah, is, is, is to be united with God. That okay, would be okay, my beautiful. answer. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Okay, so from the Islamic perspective, it's this, right? First of all, ask these three questions. Where did I, where did I come from? Where am I going? What am I doing here? What is the purpose of life? 
what is it? And the answer is we came from a creator, okay? So we, we, can, we, can, we can approach this in whatever argument you like. I'm doing a PhD in contingency argument. You can do anything you want. You can do it, for example, through the, the fact that the universe is regular and stable and uniform and possesses life. What's the best explanation for that? Is it knowledge or not knowledge? So we say it's knowledge, right? Or as we say it's a creative capacity of some sort. We came from this creative capacity. We came from this knowledge force, right? So that's the first thing we say. We came from this force, this higher power. Where are we going? We're going back to the higher power, right? And we're going back to the higher power with our deeds, which we have to be responsible for, which is exactly, it's a hallmark of what you stand for. And that's, I believe genuinely, that's why you're asking why are so many people listening to you. Because we reject original sin, with all due respect. Original sin says that one man yeah, gave, us a, gave us a sin, the other man took it away. Basically, I mean, we're fallen creatures, and then Jesus, you've got to believe in a sola fide. You believe in whatever you, you know about Christian I'm orthodox, doctors. so I don't believe that. Oh, either. fair enough. Okay, fine. I don't but, believe in original sin the way you described it, oh, fine, but that's but, fine. But fine, no, no, no worries. Eastern Orthodox, yeah? Yeah. Okay, fine. But the, the, the issue is that this... I didn't say I believed in it either. I just yeah, yeah. said that the, the concept of original sin is an expression of this problem that we're describing, which is that we're all burdened with something approximating while well, the thrownness and this ambivalent yeah. relationship we have with the atrocity of history. And, but, and that's worse, eh? Because if you study the atrocity of history yeah. with any degree of seriousness, you have to take account of the fact that people like you did it. And you yeah. might think, well, I wouldn't do it. It's like, yeah. No, I get you. No, I wouldn't be so sure about that. For sure. I mean, like, do you know, you were talking about the kind of, you, you were talking about the suffering. And what, obviously one of the major sufferings is the Holocaust. I was reading the book, Meaningful Life, Victor Frank, I'm sure you're aware of it, where he then produced logotherapy and all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. and, and it goes back to what Nietzsche said. You know, if you have a why, almost any how is possible. Mm -hmm. You know? Bearable. Yeah, if you have a why, almost any how is possible. So it goes back to, everything goes back to purpose. Logotherapy. Yeah, just, if you have a purpose, then everything is possible. That's why I think that you can do the best as a human species, yeah, in the human condition, if your purpose is transcendental, 